Okay, so I usually don't share my BoxyCharm with you guys. I signed up probably the end of last year, so I've been getting one since January. Um, I think after like a year, I'll probably do like a little bit of a review on it, just because I wanna do like a full year of like getting boxes to see what I really think. I also did the upgrade for Boxy Lux, so while I still get a box every month, every quarter, uh, that box is upgraded and you get a lot of products. So this is one of the upgraded ones. So in this one, I got the Tartist Pro Glow 3, which is the ones that look like this. I'll probably blog sell this or give it as a gift or something like, cause you know, obviously I don't really wear blush and I'm just, these are not really my colors. I got this Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. I used this two nights ago. So good. I've received another pharmacy item in a boxy charm earlier. It was like a clean bee, and that cleanser was okay. And then I think maybe Sephora had given out or had like an option for their cleansing balm as like a a trial, and that cleansing balm is really good too. I know it's probably one of their most popular products, but this was so good. It was a little bit of a tingling. It's the kind that you put on overnight, so you don't wash it off after like 10 minutes. Um which other ones have I used like this? The Sukari Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant. I don't know, I did not really get much result with that. The Ordinary one, the the like beet juice colored one, uh, that one's also really good. No Pore Blum Prime Essence, which looks like this. I also received the original version of this in an earlier boxy charm. I really like this. I've used this three times now. I have it on today also, and it's just so easy to put on. It glides on, and it does that kind of like pore beautification <laughs> uh, thing really well. I have the Living Proof Full Dry, full dry Volume Blast. I haven't tried this yet. This is a Trey Teak uh, so there's a mascara at the base and a curler at the top. I just don't think this will work for me because I just, if this mascara is not waterproof, I just don't see a point in using it, but probably will put it in like, I'll give it to someone I know or I'll blog style it. I'm excited to try this. This is the Skin Co Truffle Therapy. It's a skin mist. Um, packaging is beautiful, so haven't tried this yet, but I am looking forward to it. Then I have the Clean Biotic uh, Yogurt Cleanser from Dr. Brand. Pretty excited because I love Dr. Brand products. I also have this really cute mini hair dryer. It's kind of this like soft touch vibe and you have like a diffuser that comes with it. Like it's just super adorable, probably really great for travel. I don't know if I'm gonna use it um, only because I have my T3, is it T3 that I have? I have one of those like travel ones that I've showed you guys before. It's like white and rose gold. And lastly, we got this Dominique Cosmetics uh, Lemonade Gloss. Mine's in peach tea, so good. The smell is delicious. It's dessert smelling. So I actually have the gloss on today. So I have Pat McGrath Contour Lip Liner on and then the peach tea, so very, very pretty. And then the eyes, ooh, let me show you. It's this palette from NYX. It's called Phoenix. And I got it because, hold on. Um, the colors felt very like <laughs> Chinese banner to me. I don't know if that means anything to anyone, but like I just the lights washing out It's like super bright and intense. So I got it and I really like my eyes today. So that's like pretty Okay, this is what I mean when I say like Chinese banner <laughs> like it's the year of the pig this year So I have this right is it the year? Yeah um, and then I have this one which is so cute so good fortune and then like do you understand what I mean? Like these colors kind of gave me the, <laughs> I'm stretching here, but it was like a really, it's like a really fun palette. Like it gives me those vibes. Hey guys, this is a box, a snack box called Variety Fun. And I'm gonna unbox this with you because I think that'll be really interesting based off of what I looked at on their website. There's like really kind of throwback snacks and probably snacks I haven't tried before. And then after the unboxing, I'll explain a little bit to you guys about this box. So let's go. Funyuns, cheese doodles. I've never had these before. Lay's barbecue chips, Doritos Cool Ranch, Ruffles cheddar and sour cream, organic super cookies, never had those. Hot fries. I actually think, I don't know if I've had these actually. Okay, I feel like I'm not a very good snacker right now. Okay, here we go. Pop chips barbecue, have had pop chips, have not had barbecue. Popcorners, this is, the best and worst flavor because it's sweet and salty so like you don't need to alternate snacks which means you like will finish an entire bag if you have it but this was okay because you know individual size Mott's 
fruit snacks, chocolate chip cookies from the Pure Sweetness Baking Company. I haven't had this brand before. Okay, so these are crunchy cookies. I like chewy cookies. The texture of these are like so comforting. And cheese is my favorite one. More from this Pure Sweetness Baking Company. These are the vanilla wafers. Ritz Bits peanut butter. I have not had this flavor. Bite-sized cookies. Again, chewy cookies. Zoo Animal and Cirque... Ooh, Frosted. I've never had Frosted ones before. These kind of cookies <laughs> remind me of my brother-in-law. He will buy animal crackers because he's like a cookie fiend. So he'll buy these because he feels like he won't eat as many, and if he does, he won't feel as bad about it. I don't know, <laughs> does that logic really work? Chips Ahoy Mini. Oh, these are cute. Like, you can almost do cereal with this. More cheese doodles. Wait, what is the difference? Okay, these are extra crunchy. And these are baked. Oh, okay. OG Chex Mix. Cheetos Puffs. Veggie straws. Oh, this reminds me. As I was researching this uh, subscription, they do have a healthy version box. So uh, I think you get, it's like a little bit pricier, but then you get like snacks that are better for you. So we'll talk about that later. Two Cheez-Its, White Cheddar Original. I love, oh, these are so bad. Again, this is like something where I feel like it's the texture where you just keep eating because it feels good in your mouth. Oh my, okay. So back in the day, I want to say like high school, I was all about these cookies because they're chewy and you can like pop them in the microwave and they would taste like almost homemade. Okay, very fun. Stroop, oh, these are so good. I used to buy like the bagged ones where they were like the like mini ones when I was living in Dubai. Like I would go to the grocery and I would buy lion bars and I would buy these like, like too many, like not necessary, but so good. Welch's fruit snacks. We have a fruit roll up. Airheads, oh, love airheads. Oreos. These are, oh, I have never had the spicy cheddar. I didn't even know they had a spicy cheddar. I've had these like peanut butter flavor, like after giving blood <laughs> or like going to the doctor. Salted peanuts. We have two things from Nature Valley, fruit and nut and peanut butter. I don't think I've had this before. I think I would like something like this. These are the lemon cream cookie sandwiches. I've never had these before either. These look kind of fancy. <laughs> and then a couple of Rice Krispie treats and a chewy chocolate chip granola bar. This is a lot of snacks. Okay, yes, yeah, so feel free to bear witness to the amount of snacks back there. I want to share some information with you guys regarding this box. Okay, so pertinent information regarding this box. A, it was sent to me under the premise that I share it with you and let you know that there is a code. So here we go, $24.99 for 40 snacks. The code FUN20, linked below, or you know, listed below, gives you 20% off, making it 40 snacks for $20, which is an excellent deal. Okay, so now on to important information that I care about when I look at a subscription and things that I think you also are considering. First of all, the term subscription always feels that you're gonna have to be in like a financially committed relationship for like a year or six months. Not the case here. You can pause your subscription, you can skip months, you can cancel at any time. Also, shipping is free. So I think that's super excellent. After kind of looking at the box with you guys, I feel like it would be so good for like moms, for lunches, for having kids over, if you're ever committed to bring something in for the class um, or a trip, it's great for the office. I believe there is an office plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna keep 10 snacks for me and the rest are gonna go into the office because it's dangerous for me to have that many snacks. So I'll keep 10 snacks, it'll be good for me for about a couple weeks if I'm like ever hungry like and I want something quick, but like, you know, that will like satisfy a craving. There is also a healthier version of the box. The code also applies to that. And I believe that is all. That is all the important information. Um, I'll have everything below and feel free to check it out. I think it's a really great deal. Okay, some Aldi groceries. So Brookie dough, brownie, cookie dough, ice cream. Pretty sure they're duping the Ben and Jerry's. So I saw three different flavors, so I grabbed this one. This one's like my favorite one anyway. Uh, this is something my mom picked up, so I just, she's like, take a bottle. So, I mean, I'm always down for sparkling apple cider. One spaghetti squash. 
spinach, dark chocolate pomegranates. I don't know, this is like a weird day, clearly. <laughs> I usually don't get ice cream, I'm trying not to have that. But this is Red Thunder, which is uh, the same as Red Bull. I'm excited to try this, but I hope it, don't become, it doesn't become a thing because I love Red Bull. And in college and in my early 20s, I had a lot of Red Bull. And then I just stopped because, you know, it's not good for you, but I saw this and I really craved it. So let's try it out. Dry roasted unsalted peanuts. We have roasted salted and roasted unsalted sunflower kernels. I'm just gonna mix them so then they'll just be like mildly salty. Milled flax. Uh, last time in my haul, I showed like just flax seeds, only to realize not that there was anything bad with them, when, bad about them when I put them in my smoothies, but I have now read that you're supposed to have them more like milled or ground up. Another of the sweet cow chopped salad kit for my spring rolls. Mission figs and some bananas. Here's like a mini haul from Beauty Bay. If you don't, um, if you're not signed up for their emails, I would encourage you to. They have, their sales section is really good. Um, I would say 90% of the stuff at retail, not at retail, 90% of the items when it's on sale is cheaper than what you could purchase here in the US. Shipping does take a while because it's coming from the UK. I would say like maybe a week to a week and a half before you'll get it but sometimes the discounts are just really good. So I tried out this, or I'm trying out this J1 Jelly Cream. I believe this was like 19. We have the Nabla Glow Trip in the shade Crown. I have the other shade already. This was, I believe, maybe 16. Uh, Lily Lashes Lash Cutting Scissors. I have like, I. <laughs> this is like kind of pathetic, but like I have like this pair of tiny scissors. Like they're just like small scissors. They're not meant for cutting lashes, so it's like, you know, it, they're fine, but I don't know. These were on sale for $10. I'm like, okay, we'll just try. These are pretty, I mean, right? <laughs> and then a melt lip liner. I'm going to swatch this. Okay, so I got the shade Headbang, and there's a swatch of a Headbang. The formula is great. It's like a pencil you have to sharpen, and I find that those are my favorite pencils. The formula seems really great, and this color is definitely for me, and it was 10 bucks, so yay. Okay, good afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon. I haven't been like out and about shopping in a while, like a while, a while. So we're gonna do a haul, and hopefully it won't be like weird and interrupted. Like usually when I film these in the car, they film for a really long time because I'm so paranoid about seeing people, so I'm parked the end of a parking lot there's like no one around here unless someone comes out over there I feel like I should be okay so let's get started so we'll do Ulta first I have some returns I bought that like Revlon thing that everyone was using to like blow dry their hair and like style it at the same time and everyone's like it's like it dries my hair like so much faster it did not do that for me <laughs> uh, so I got two nail polishes I've been looking for the shade from Pacifica for a long time. I was waiting to get it online, but it wasn't. I also did not realize these are $14. This is kind of extreme. I've never bought a nail polish for this much, but it's called Gold Lame, and we'll see. I don't know, the camera's not doing it justice. And then it was buy one, get one 40% off, so I got a top coat because I don't have one. Right next to my Ulta is a five below. Full disclosure, getting my period next week, so that's probably why this is. But they have like cute t-shirts. So I usually will like cut the neck and then wear them at home. So this one's a B Legendary, which I don't know, fun, because I wear like black pants with it, obviously. And then this one says send nudes, and it has like really cute like chopsticky things, so super cute. I got the Sour Patch Strawberry. Yum. If you haven't had them, they're delicious. You know they do the five for five. So I have the strawberry pups. I have five of these. I know, don't ask. I told you, you don't have to ask. Apparently more nail polish. I don't know, was today just a candy and nail polish? So we have two from Fresh Paint. They're three for five. We have Aurora on this side and then 11 on this side. This one's magenta orange and then this one is kind of light blue purple orange and this is a dark matter from the dollar store hello kitty toothbrush with a little like thing so i can like have it dry on my counter I if you have a swiffer they have these like 15 packs they're the dry ones i highly recommend i have two of them and then we have corn nuts we have the ranch and the original uh the what did i try recently Pica chili picante those are also really good Okay, and then from TJ Maxx, I have this, uh, it's to clean your brushes, but I like that it's like 
kind of like a well. So usually I have like a pad that I put in the sink and then the water just runs off of it. But this, the water will stay in until I drain it. So I kind of like the idea of that, good for water saving. <laughs> and then I haven't tried something like this yet. So you know how like there's like the makeup halos and then there's like the uh, like towels. They're kind of like microfibery, but like really soft and you're supposed to be able to use them to remove your makeup. You just like wet them. I really, whenever I see like commercials or infomercials for it, I feel like it looks really magical. So I'm going to try these out. These were $4 and then you have all these like cool, not cool, but like cute little florals. If they're not good for that, then I mean, I'll just use them. Like I like keeping like a towel on my vanity to brush off my brushes anyway. Also in the garage, on the garage, in the trunk. So I have three of these Canada Dry Ginger Ale Lemonades. Between the Ibotta app and the Cartwheel app, I would manage to pay like, I think only $5.25 for all three of these, which is super awesome. And oh, Target toilet paper is really comfy. So if you're like, I don't know if it's good. I've never tried any Walmart stuff, but I like the Target stuff. I would like to update you guys on sponges. So this was the Flower Beauty sponge I showed you last week. I also picked this up from Walmart. It's the Equate brand and I didn't show it to you because that hair organizer that I bought, the interior was pink and this was in there in like a clear like container. I don't know why. It's like I just like missed it. But I picked this up too. This thing I think was like, was it like $8? I don't like uh, I hate buying sponges to try out because I feel like I can't return them. I'm like, I know you can, but I'm just like, ugh. It, it puffs up and it's okay, but like, whatever, passing on this. This Equate one at my Walmart was $1.84. I would guess across the country it has to be around $2 or under $2. So good. I mean... Even if this lasts like half the time or a third of the time of regular beauty blender, it's still worth it. I think it would still like, you know, equivalent like life, but go get this. So good. I used it today and I was like in shock. Like it, it's super soft when you add water to it. It becomes even softer. It applies makeup really beautifully. Like so good. Also, the other thing I like about it is it's kind of a flat bottom. So you can kind of like bounce and push foundation in. It's just... So good, highly recommend. Do you guys like this canvas? I think this canvas is so pretty. I will link below where I bought it. I can't remember, well, it was like a website that only does canvases, but so gorgeous. Just everything about it is amazing. And then, you know, that's what we have going on down there, but I had to like mount it, right? Yes.